What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And today, I'm going to try something different. A lot of people wanted me to show a screen recording instead of the ROM running in the actual device. So I'm going to try that today. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, fingerprint reader is working great. The home screen is really nice with that Google Now feed on the left. Moving on to this place here, we can see that 90 frames per second and 90 hertz per second is working great. No problems whatsoever, guys. Everything running smooth. The camera, it comes with the Oxygen OS camera pre-installed and it's working great. No problems there either. And uh, if we go to uh, network and Wi-Fi, you can see that we have the usual. We even have Wi-Fi calling here. So if we scroll down, we'll see it right there, Wi-Fi calling. We go to connected devices. We know the usual, we have the Bluetooth. Under display, we do have a lot of these options here, like uh, theming, style. Here you can choose your clocks. There's so many, so many options, guys, that you guys are just going to love them. Just check out all these options here. Now I like this one because it matches the accent color. But moving on, we also have all these options here like the screen refresh rate. You could choose to have it auto or just change it to whatever you like. If we go back and we go to sound, we have all these options here, which they're usually like every other ROM, nothing special here. Everything's the same. Let's go to uh, security down here. We do have all these options, fingerprints, smart lock, and most importantly, face unlock. We, ha we do have face unlock for you guys that are always requesting that. There you go. If we go to OnePlus settings, we do have all these options like the high brightness mode. We have the DC dimming. We, we even got the panel mode, but we only got two options here. We also get the notification slider options here. We do get Dolby Atmos, guys, and it sounds really, really good. We do get some screen up gestures, and you can turn it on here or turn it off. Uh, and also, guys, we do have a vibrator system strength, so you could choose how hard your vibration or how low your vibration. And overall, the vibration is not bad. It's pretty, pretty good, but it, I wouldn't say it's oxygen or it's good. Now, if we go to uh, Resurrection Tools, here we got the clock date options. And here we could finally, finally put my clock position in the center like I love. And uh, you could choose other options like the AMPM, the date, the color. We also go network traffic, which I don't turn on. We do get battery. And you could choose what type of battery icon you want. Like, check this out, like the circle dotted circle and you know my favorite the icon portrait and you could even uh enable the percentage inside or outside so we also have a battery bar that you could turn on on the top of the status bar you'll see like a white line right now you see that and you could even choose the color or the position if you want it under that status bar on the navigation bar uh well we don't it doesn't really good look good now because we don't have navigation but if you wanted a, a battery bar on top that would look good and you could even make it thicker or thinner and you could even change the colors to you know customize it whatever way you want as you can see but for me i turn it off Now we also get the options to put in your favorite logo and we get lots of options like check all these out guys. So many options here. 
I just turn on the Google logo just to keep it there so you can see it. Under system icons, we do have all these icons here for the voice over LTE that you could choose from. So you can see I'm gonna change a couple. I'm gonna change some just to so just so you can see the difference. I mean, does it make a difference? Just choose whatever looks better to you. And if we go to status bar weather, here we can choose from lots of options. Like for example, we can choose the color of our weather numbers. As you can see, I'm gonna change them to yellow so you can see how it looks. And also you could you could change the icon pack. So as you can see, we have that one from the Google Now. We're gonna change it to the Galaxy S6. You know, you could choose whatever you like, whatever looks good to you. So I chose that one. Under status bar here is where you could turn off whatever you don't like of the icons on the status bar. If we go to panels here. Here you could choose how you want your volume panel style. As you can see, this is tiled. You have other icons next to it. Or you could choose Oreo or, you know, compact like that one, just minimal. And you could even switch it to the left if you like it on the left if we go to system here we could, we could go to buttons and navigation and the good thing about this ROM that it comes with all options. So if you want the gesture navigation is there. If you want the two button is there. If you want your three button navigation, Hey, it's there too. We also get extra options like the power buttons, the volume button options here. And we do have also extra long press back and forth. I mean, I don't turn those on. If we go to uh power dialog, here's where you have the options to turn on when you long press your power, how the animation looks and what options you want there. For example, I only have these options, but if you change the animations, as you can see, when you hold it, this is how it appear to you. Like let's see 3D. Pretty good. Let's see uh, a different one. Okay. I mean, you get the point. See, now I have extra stuff there. Now we have advanced restart. That way you can go straight to the bootloader and fast boot or to the recovery. Now, if we move on to uh, parts, here we have system profiles, your charging sounds. So if you want to turn that on and choose the sound, you're welcome to do it. We have rounded corners and all of the stuff that you might want to tweak. We go to vibrations here. We have a lot of options for it, but everything's good. Gestures anywhere. Now this option, I thought it was pretty cool because you do have like a little panel on the right side that you could just make your own gesture and just write down the letter that you programmed it to and it works. For example, you saw there the, the Stadia. I just did an S and it came out. All right, let's try to do another one. So 
let's choose the camera for example i'm gonna choose the camera i'm gonna do a c I write down a c i'm gonna add the gesture and let's see let me go ahead and pull it up and let me just write it down right there boom instantly camera comes out and that i think has way more uh value than than a lot of other stuff that i've seen in other ROMs. but um yeah the only thing is that if you have full screen gestures you're gonna struggle pulling it out because it's on the left side or the right side i mean but either or you could just change it but that was just a quick view on that if we go to pulse here we have a lot of different options for your notification pulls uh we do have all these options here that you could just mess with uh, let me just turn off the gesture anyway because you can see it was interfering with my stuff and uh let's see here we go to animations here we got the screen off animations like the crt and we got scale we got the fade and let's go back to crt beautiful beautiful now here we also have got the option to turn on the 90 hertz or 60 hertz whatever you like we go to interface real quick under fingerprint we get a lot of options to choose from our fingerprints just look at all these guys so many options i'm pretty sure there's something for everybody even the fod press state behavior you could also choose all these animations and you're you guys already know McLaren is my favorite, so that's kind of what I keep it at. Now we also get charging animations under lock screen. We get your ambient options, but word of advice, I keep it off just to save some battery. But you can do whatever you want. It's up to you guys. Now, these are the options you could have on your lock screen. I kept it simple, you know, just the time and the weather. Now, if we go to resurrection themes, here we have so many options like pre-made themes that you could already choose that are already in there. And you could also just customize your own. And I like that we also have switches. Here you could choose what type of switches you want and how they want how you want them to look. You also get all these options for font. So there's something for everybody. I'm serious. There's so many fonts options there that I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you like. And you get your normal icon shapes and your status bar icons. But I just leave it default because that's how I like it. If we go to gaming mode here, we have the option to turn off notifications, uh, lock buttons, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I like that it has this. I, I love ROMs that have a gaming mode. Under miscellaneous, we do have all these options here. Like you can hide your smart replies, disable the four closed notifications, your screenshot type, the shutter sound, and even have a blink flashlight on call. So many options here for you guys to explore. If we go to miscellaneous here. We also have weather. We have enable smart charging. Guys, this is a feature that every ROM should have. I'm serious. I love this feature because I feel that this will prolong our battery life and the battery health on the phone. Because as you can see, you can have a start and stop trigger. I just love this feature. So as you can see, guys, this ROM is really, really, really good. I know I say that about a lot of other ROMs, but these ROMs are just getting 
better and better as we speak every day you know these developers get better and better at what they do and guys when it comes to gaming this rom doesn't disappoint either so you can see here you can see that all the graphics that options that you need will run on PUBG, except for Ultra as or UHD as that says coming soon. But everything else you're able to choose and pick for yourself. So, guys, with that being said, would I recommend this ROM to you? Absolutely, guys. This ROM has so much customization. It's very stable. Battery is not the bad either. It's really good. So, if you guys are interested in this ROM. Go ahead and try it out. I highly recommend it. And guys, with all that being said, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for the new subscribers subscribing, all the likes. That's motivation to me. And uh, guys, thank you again. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.